Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun little treat box for you today featuring the Round We Go bundle. Um, I am featuring this on my blog this week, so if you're looking for more ideas, click the link here on YouTube, go back and check them all out. Now, I found something at Walmart that I thought was so cute and I had to get it. It matches our new uh, purple pretty closely. It's somewhere in between Highland Heather and Petunia Pop, so I, I went with Petunia Pop because that's our one of our new end colors. It's a, a bath, a mineral bath soak. And I thought that would be really fun for maybe like a, a bridal shower thank you or a girl's weekend. And the box just folds down under a rosette like that. Okay, well, let's make our rosette first because that needs to kind of sit for a while. I am using this dye right here. Now I use Pretty in Pink. Uh, for this flower and I just realized that I cut these out ahead of time from petunia pop. It'll still match but I just wanted to point out that that's a different color. All right I'm going to take my tear and tape and I'm going to put it right here on the edge. The one end of these has a little um, tab if you will and we're going to put adhesive right there on that and I'm going to peel off that backing now you're also gonna to wanna to get a hot glue gun. I've just found that the best option for this is the hot glue gun. Now you have a scalloped edge and a pointed edge. So make sure that you line them up correctly. They make two different types of florets. You have to decide which one you like the best. All right, now you're just gonna go back and forth. This is a little bit tedious, but you wanna really make sure you fold those score lines in as you go down, it's important so that your rosette will lay down. All right, once you have it all folded, we're gonna adhere it end over end like that. So I'm gonna put tear and tape also on this end. And I, I don't know if I mentioned this a second ago, but I like to trim my tear and tape so it's just exactly the same angle as that end. So I don't have adhesive sticking out. It is the exact same width, so it's perfect for this. Okay, now we're gonna go over. Let me make sure you wanna go over. <laughs> yeah, there we go, overlapping. You just have to look at it and see what makes sense. All right, so now we've got this ring. So you can, if you want the scalloped edge out, you're gonna push down in the middle of the pointed edge. If you want the pointed edge out, which maybe we should do this time since I did the scalloped edge on the other one, you just push down on the other. Let's get, come on girls, let's do what we're supposed to do here. Fold in, there we go, like that. All right, now I like to look and see which side looks best on the back. Obviously this side with adhesive is probably the best to be your back side. So I've got my um, silicone mat, which you're really gonna want. Put a little dot of glue. I've cut out these from um, the same color cardstock and they are in the same die set. You can use any kind of circle. You could use a heart if you want. And so set that down on there carefully add a little more glue right there in the middle and take this one and hold it down like that all right now the one thing about this is that i've put glue on my dot that's going to be on the front i didn't think ahead i should have turned it upside down so that that was the glue dot in the back if you happen to do that, you can just cut another one and cover it up. We're gonna cover it up with a big bow anyway, so I think it'll be fine. Now you want it to just sit there and let that glue really dry. So set like a clear block on top and set it out of the way. All right, now let's make our box. You are going to need, let's see if I can find my notes, a piece of petunia pop that is seven and a half by 11. On the long side, you're gonna score it at half an inch, seven and a half, and eight. Turn it to the short side, score it at half, 
three and a half, four, and seven. Now again, don't worry, there's a supply list with the measurements, PDF, it's free over on my blog for you. All right, grab your bone folder. Make all those lines nice and burnished, okay? That'll help you get your box together. All right, now, as you can see, this is the part that's going to fold over on the front. So we're gonna start there. We're gonna start down here at this second line in, and we are just gonna cut all the way across to that score line, the first score line. And then we're gonna cut all the way down, okay? Now, these little flaps right here, we're gonna leave, but we want to cut in from the top, okay? So that those little tabs are attached to the side. So I'm gonna go all the way down and then snip off that part, all right? So all the way down and snip off that part right there. All right, now to the bottom, we're going to snip these lines as well. And then we're gonna cut this square off, like that. All right, now that's what your piece looks like. If you wanna pause the video to cut yours just like that, go right ahead, this is the time to do it. Okay, now get your tear and tape, and I'm gonna put tear and tape on this side tab over here. Okay, and I'm gonna take my the backing off, and I'm gonna fold this piece in and fold this over, and it should match exactly and then it pops open to create your box, all right? Now let's fold in the sides, then the back, and the front will be last. Ah, if I can get it on there. What is it about an empty box that is so hard to handle? There we go. It just floats around on your desk. All right, fold that up. Okay, so now put in your little bath salts and you fold in these like that and you fold over and down. All right, now for the front uh, bottom part of the box, I've got a piece of Unbounded Beauty designer series paper. It's either Unbounded Beauty or Unbounded Love. I can't keep it all straight. Check the supply list for the exact name and the item number. We're gonna put that there. Now for the front, I decided we're gonna emboss. So remember that piece that you cut off right there? I want you to get your trimmer. We're gonna, we're gonna not waste that paper. And we're gonna trim it down uh, to two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths, okay? Now we're gonna emboss it with a really cute new embossing folder called Cute Crochet. And when you use one of our embossing folders that are 3D, you need to remove all the plates except for one. Take your uh, piece of cardstock. And I liked, I tried to like line it up with the, their little squares. See how they're little squares? So put it kind of so that you get all four squares on there. And put on your top plate and run it through. For whatever reason, there we go, this embossing folder sticks together. If that happens to you, just kind of bend it or throw it on the desk. <laughs> if you throw it down like that, usually dies pop out like that, embossing folders pop open. All right, you know, that's probably not the official thing I should tell you, but that's what I do. All right, now we're gonna glue this right to that front flap like that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now I have a large white unbounded love circle. Nope, spotlight on nature, circle. <laughs> the supply list will be on my blog. Don't trust anything that I say. Um, I can't keep things straight. All right, fold down your, your lid so that it's straight and then put kind of like a line of dimensionals right there under it. That way you know 
that your adhesive can't go any further than that. And we're gonna put this beautiful large circle right there. So then that just will slide underneath like that to keep it closed. Okay, bring back over your, yeah, see I got glue on it. Let's cut another one. Oh, wait a minute, let's see, can we peel it? Yeah, but we definitely need a new one. Okay, hold on for a second, I'm gonna cut a new one. All right, so the lesson we learned, remember, is when you put that first circle, when you glue it down, make sure that you, well, my glue is not working today. Make sure that you turn your circle over so the back side is facing down because then that circle won't be able to be seen and you won't have to worry about this right here. All right, we're gonna put our new fresh cut circle right there and you would never know. Okay, now I'm gonna get a little more hot glue, just a little, put it right there in the middle and put that right there. All right, I have a stylus shape basic white banner. We're gonna stamp the sentiment in Petunia Pop and we're gonna do it right there on the right edge. And I'm just gonna cut it off at an angle like this because I wanna put it behind there like that. And again, I just find that using a little bit of hot glue here on these rosettes makes things easy. All right, so put that right there. And then we're gonna get Petunia Pop ribbon. And we're gonna tie a pretty bow. The thing I love about Stampin' Up! is our color coordination. You know that if you have a Petunia Pop bow and a Petunia Pop cardstock circle, they're gonna be the exact same color. It's nice in the Petunia Pop Designer Series paper. All right, and there you go, a fun little treat for maybe a party favor, maybe just for a girl's trip, maybe just for a friend who's having a rough time at work, right? All right, click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, let me know if you have questions, and have fun stamping. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.